<laughs> it's that time. It's that time, my friends. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I hope everybody's doing great. Although it feels like we've returned to spring here in the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> it's like, really? Come on. Oh. We're supposed to um, warm up just a little bit here in the next couple days to like 70-ish. Isn't that fun? Well, wherever you are, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Hello, Veronica. We um, are gonna have a nice time together as always. Ooh, say hello if you would. Give me a little, uh, give me some emojis or something. I love hearts. <laughs> hey, B. Hi to you and Bunny. Hey, I think Julianne, um, she was in PetSmart. And they were, um, I'm not quite sure when they were in there, but she was like, there were these two, there were these small little orange little tabby kitty cat kitties and hey Linda, and they were, they were trying to, uh, we were trying to be so persuaded to adopt a little kitten. And I'm like, oh, I think those are bee and bunnies, foster kitties. Did you have, um, like on Friday or Saturday. Hey, Maria, have your little kitties at PetSmart. Oh, they are so darn cute. I keep going back and forth. I think my um, Nini, Panini, needs a, a playmate. I'm not sure, but he just, he really wants to, you know. Yeah, I think he just needs another friend. But anywho. Yeah, so V, you're kind of chilly like that too, huh? Overcast and chilly. Oh my gosh. Ooh, yeah, we're. <laughs> I have my little uh, waffle here. It's not. It's not a real warm jacket, but it's pretty darn good. Sorry, I'm gonna have a drink, you guys. I would tell you it was apple juice, but it's not. <laughs> we um, in a crock pot did uh, pork for pulled pork sam pulled pork sandwiches and stuff. Um, because I do my Facebook Live. But hey, I'm going to ask a question of you guys. I'll bring it up at the end too. My husband, you know, I did my Facebook Lives on Wednesday because my husband was bowling. Well, he is now um, bowling a summer league and it's on Tuesday nights. So would it change anybody's abilities to come on Facebook to watch me on Tuesday nights at 6 instead of Wednesday for the summer? Ooh, Maria, 87, going to be 90. Well, hey, I'm coming there mid-July. I want none of that. Because you guys don't have just that. You also have, like, the humidity, right? Oh, I remember that growing up. Yikes. Anyway, so, oh, and hey, Lynn, I want to talk to you because Lenny and I are thinking we might, might want to take you up on that um, kind of offer about having room at your place. That would be, like, so darn helpful. <laughs> Tuesdays work good with you? Yeah. So I might make that change just so he doesn't feel like he's being put out. So for example, I was doing corn on the cob and it's just not boiling, not boiling, waiting, waiting, waiting. I said, oh, Lenny, it's almost boiling. I've got to get down there and get started. Can you just kind of watch this? So then, <laughs> so then I go up there and he's moved it to the front of the stove and he says, I think that burner in the back is going out because it goes up high and red and then it goes down. And so he has it on the front burner and the front burner is going high red and then down. We have an electric stove. I said, well, honey, that's just the electric stove doing its thing. It, it gets up to that hot, 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 and then it relieves itself back down again until it goes back up to that. It was just very cute. And, um, and I just like, so I think I might switch to Tuesdays for the summer. He just started the league. So yeah, I, I you know, I want to do good for him. So anyway, um, on that note, thanks for letting me know about the day and if it would work for you, I appreciate that. I'm gonna switch my camera and um, I'm just moving my book. You don't need to see that, all that. My chicken scratch writing. 
So yes, so here we are, you guys, a beautiful new annual catalog. It is just a month old. That's right, May, May, I think it was May 3rd, we were able to, as customers, order, it might've been May 5th, I'm not even sure. Now, demonstrators were able to do in April, some pre-order stuff, um, but amazing, we're just, this baby's just a month old. And my goodness, there's so much in it. So, wow. So the annual catalog, I just wanna remind you, starting tomorrow for the whole month of June, these designer series papers, yes. The bright and beautiful countryside, delightfully eclectic. Now, delightfully eclectic, you guys, look out. It's a 12 by 12 package. <clears throat> of 48 sheets, a 12 by 12 packet of 48 sheets. Holy cremoli, that's a lot of paper. And it is $30, so 15% off that would be a good deal. We then also have our earthen textures, fresh as a daisy, our gingham paper, inked botanicals, let's go fishing, les shops. Our masterfully made, oh, so gorgeous, Stargazing and Zoo Crew, all of those designer series paper, which are the artistry ones that I like to call them, they are gonna be 15% off. When you put that order number in, it'll automatically calculate that 15% off for you. And so that starts June 1st, as in tomorrow, Thursday. And um, remember, if you use the host code that's right there, when you shop, if you shop with my link, it will also have that host code there so you don't even need to input it. It will already be there. Um, you will be put in for Mystery Hostess. Woohoo! That's always fun. Veronica knows a little bit about that. Weren't you Mystery Hostess, Veronica? Isn't that where your, your um, funny money, your fun money came from? Well, let's take a look at what I have first. I am again touting my basket. <laughs> Love, I love my baskets. I was sharing it with my sister-in-law, Arla, who came for the Fancy Friday Fun Fold class. And um, that was a lot of fun. Are there only two there? There should be three there. There it is. I have three little flowers already done and I cut them out. I fussy cutted them, you guys. You know why? Because I don't have the die set. Oh. So let me um, remind you that on the Countryside in Sweet Collection, I told you about these little flowers and things, and I told you that there was a, they were sharing and showing this set right here on the next page, The Lasting Joy. Now, I'm assuming, and I'm very sure that The Lasting Joy was probably a bundle in the last catalog, the spring catalog or the last annual. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it was. And that there are dies that you can order that go with it as well. I just, of course, wasn't prepared enough to look back here, but I'm sure there are dies that would cut these things out for you. Um, but uh, anyway, what I find about this set, as I looked at it more carefully, it is a really, really great sentiment set. That's really what it's about. And it has the always thinking of you, right? Um, I'm so thankful, hoping for a better day. I'm so sorry. Um, hoping for a better day. Um, so sorry you're going through this. I mean, there's just so many great different ones. Um, and then of course these little flowers that mimic the Countryside in Designer Series paper. Now, how clever is that, right? How clever is that? I'm telling you. So, of course, I'm letting my Designer Series paper dictate, but we're going to use the Lasting Joy stamp set. And I have the Misty Moonlight and the Balmy Blue because that's the colors um, that are within the Designer Series paper. Now, I just have a little bit of the Designer Series paper out right now because I, I'm thinking about using a strip as part of the card, but I'm just not sure that I want to yet. So let me set that aside. I am going to, I am using, look at how pretty this is, you guys, in the balmy blue. Look how nice that is. That is the 
Countryside Blooms Embossing Folder. And if that wasn't enough, here is a designer series paper mimicking. It is that embossing folder. So you have it in the designer series paper and you have it in the embossing folder. How fun. It is not a 3D embossing folder, so you would not need to use your embossing plate to run this through your machine. You would simply just need your base and your two um, clear acrylic plates for that. Okay. All right. So we are also going to use the countryside corner dies that coordinate with the countryside um, corners stamp set. But we're not using the corner side stamp set. You know, that's that one stamp that has all of the nesting or different sizes of designs. My paper I decided to do at a four and a quarter today by five and a half, uh, by sorry, 11 and scored at five and a half, but I just realized I didn't score my paper. So there, now it's scored. I just folded it in half. <laughs> now I have that beautiful countryside blossoms and I cut that just a quarter inch smaller so it's four by five and a quarter and I'm going to use my liquid glue to glue it down. I always, you guys, use the liquid glue to glue it down. Oh, hold on a second. Hi, Char. Veronica, March Madness. <laughs> oh, Char, thanks for sharing. I appreciate that. I use my, um, do I want that side? Sometimes I really like the what I call the debossed side where the um, impressions go down instead of up. But no, we must have it going this way. I like to use my liquid glue because, again, this is the deboss side. So oftentimes the tape is not getting lots of areas, but the glue will get down in those nooks and crannies. Now on this blossoms folder, you need to make sure you have your blossoms headed in the right direction. I usually, when I lay my images down, you guys, I go to the side first, and then I start looking top and bottom for my um, lining up, and then I'll press. With the liquid glue, you do not need a lot. Oh my gosh, you guys. Remember, I had gotten that manicure. Look how fast my nails grow. Do you see the big gaps here? I have got to get in there and get this gel off my nails and have something new done, right? There we go. Now what I've done is I've taken the designer series paper, there's our balmy blue, and now we're going to go with misty moonlight. This misty moonlight was cut at four and a quarter by three and something. I don't know. <laughs> I probably should see. I will do a blog on this and tell you. Uh, three and a quarter, yes I thought so, by four and three quarters. Oh, three and a quarter by four and three quarters. That means this designer series paper is three by four and a half. And all I'm going to do on that is glue the two pieces together. Oh, here I am in my happy place. I know I love this paper. I'm in my happy place. You know why? Because I am doing a monochromatic card. Am I though? Am I really? Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> now, you guys, this is kind of funny. I don't think this, uh, I don't know if this ribbon is current or not, but you would think that this was misty moonlight, wouldn't you? Because look at, it's like perfect, but it's not. It is Night of Navy. Yes, yes it is. So what I'm going to do is my little trick. I'm going to do a little bit of my tape. I don't want to waste my ribbon and I don't also don't want extra bulk on my card. And I'm going to come right across here. I don't mind that I'm covering up that mil middle medallion. That medallion really isn't in the center and so it's not the focal point of my card. So I'm fine with it not um, there we go. So then I'm gonna adhere this down. I'm gonna bring my liquid glue back in because again, if I do just my stamp and seal, which don't get me wrong, it's a great adhesive, 
but you need different adhesives for different purposes, right? Oh, thank you, jacket. <laughs> Just smeared it in the glue. Because when you look at the blossoms here, you guys, there's a lot of raised, delicate images, and you wanna make sure you are getting a good amount of adhering going on. There we are. So isn't that pretty? Now, what I've done is I've cut a three by four and a half and a four and three quarters by three and a quarter misty moonlight and basic white so it can be like the front of the card and that's gonna go on the inside like so. Just so it seems very similar to the front, okay? All right, so let's see. I'm gonna bring my little scrap white here and I am going to try, I'm gonna try, I hope it does, hoping for better days ahead. I'm gonna do that. Um, one of my coworkers is really suffering right now. There is so much stress and anxiety going on. Her husband of like, I don't know, five years maybe, three, four years, um, is a fireman and he has all sorts of medical health issues happening and maybe some cancer things, all sorts of things, not sure what's happening, but his body, it's some sort of, um, of his blood cells clinging together and things and cold weather actually makes it worse. Um, but there's things happening there and plus, you know, parents um, having some issues and things there too. I mean, just so overwhelming. And does that work? Does that work? Well, you know, I think it will. You know, you always can be a little bit iffy on those, but we're going to try it. So I'm going to um, do this card up for her. I just feel so, oh, it's like, what else do you do for her? Just so much going on. There we go. Now this is going to be like an exact fit. Just want to make sure that I'm straight. This again is one of those stamp sets that they've done some uh, text, just print font. And then um, cursive, oh, I just love that. Hey Jolene, welcome. Glad you're here. All ready for that designer series paper sale starting tomorrow, huh, Jolene? You gotta let me know. I mean, I've got your order there. And I know I was holding it because the sale started. Isn't that so funny? Like right after you placed the order with me and came over, like all of a sudden, whoa, look at that. Now, don't mind me, but I am gonna grab a sponge. Not a sponge, a blending brush, because that just seems really harsh. And I feel like if I do a little sponging around, it will kind of cover up that little bit of that sentiment, like fitting so perfectly around there. That balmy blue can be bright. Oh boy. Yes, yes, yes. I guess we're going with a very, very sponge sentiment. <laughs> Didn't mean for it to do that much. So the other thing I wanted to do here was to grab, mm, let's get the stamp set. And there's this little, I mean, it is too cute, you guys. There's these two tiny flowers. There's this one, and then there's this one. Two tiny little flowers. So I'm gonna put the, I think I'm just gonna use the one that has the center. Yeah. And I'm gonna do it with our balmy blue that we just sponged. Oh, so cute. I 
think only two. Now I have my three flowers because I'm going to have them kind of coming in under here. But I really would like a couple of little leaves. Let's see. There's so very interesting, and I, I need to I need to see a little demonstration on this, you guys, because I think these are supposed to. But these are little leaves. These right here. They're on one stamp, which is kind of cool on this because there's these little leaves as well that are on one stamp, and they would be like you'd put them right here on the flower. But see this group of flowers they are also one stamp and I'm assuming that when you stamp that those are supposed to line up somehow I really think they do I've tried and I cannot I quite I can't figure it out right now I just can't I tried and it's like well I'm just gonna have to let that go right now <laughs> so you guys there's something else that's happening um, in the month of June and it's so funny, I was just talking to my sister-in-law, Arla, and I was saying, wow, you know, um, Stampin' Up! usually has some sort of joining special. I wonder, you know, when the new catalog comes out, I wonder what they're going to, um, to do. And lo and behold, in Tuesday updates, in the month of July, uh, June, sorry, there is a joining special. So, okay, so think about that for a minute. I'm gonna have a blog you guys can read tomorrow. Um, and the blog talks about double um, double bonuses, like in that idea of, oh, the designer series paper sale is great, you know? But then, guess what? You still get the designer series paper sale even when you join. So when you join, you are gonna get that, that sale price of the designer series paper So I look at this as, ha, huh. so the special is choosing $155 of product and pay $99. That's the special, which is pretty darn great. So $155. Oh, so when I do a knot, you guys, see I have it like this. Now I'm going to twist it around like that because then I'll get that nice little knot right there. You see how it's a nice little knot that happened? I just take them and I twist them as I'm putting them down. So anyway, I look at it as, wait a minute, if I'm going to get 15% off several packages of my designer series papers that I want, um, they're actually less than the $12.50, they're 15% less, I can get more, <laughs> and I'm actually getting more that $155 of product. I'm just going to go uh, dimensional crazy here. Um, yeah, so, oh my gosh, $155 for $99. But anyway, in my blog that you can read, I have some ideas about starter kits and things like if you're an avid stamper already, what kind of things would you get, you know, if you have lots of things already or... Um, you're novice, you really don't have a lot, but it would be a great way to start getting some things. And also the benefits about what happens. What are some benefits? We always know we like discounts on shopping. That's a benefit. I'm just gonna pop these guys down in here somewhere. The dimensionals were getting in my way here, so I'm going to have to think about how to get this guy in there. He can go just right there. I want him to go over that so you can really see it. And then these two little guys are going to go up here because they're just too cute. I took the time to cut them out. They're going to go in here. That's all I'm saying about that. So put that one there. Oh, monochromatic. Love it. Misty moonlight and balmy blue. Look at how... Ooh, Look at how just French provincial and how pretty is that? Oh, yeah, nice knot tip. Yeah, I just, like I said, I twist those and it gives me that nice little knot there. Okay, so now we have this in here. 
And the sentiment that I think goes with that here, it says, Ho um, hoping for better days ahead. And I'm going to do so, I'm so sorry you're going through this. So I'm going to combine both of those. All right. And so I'm going to bring in my large one again, take that one off. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay that down on my grid paper. Did you know as a customer you can order this grid paper as well? It's a great thing to surface to have. You know what photopolymer, the only problem with it is it sticks to you. <laughs> I'm so sorry you're going through this. And then let's see how we did. Oh, I think that's pretty good. Now the question is, is it too long for my paper? Whoo, no it's not. Remember I cut my inside smaller so it could be like the front of the card. So I'm so sorry you're going through this. Oh, that is like lined up perfect. That's kind of fun that that hap when that happens, isn't it? I'm so sorry you're going through this. And then I am going to stamp this little group of flowers with the balmy blue. See that pretty little group of flowers, you guys? Now tell me that those little leaves don't go in there. So I'm gonna bring in these little leaves back because I, I'm telling you, they are perplexing to me. When I sit here and try to figure out how they might go, I just can't figure out how they go. It's just so weird. It seems like it would go right there because it's not gonna hit anything and it would go right right like that, but then I'm just too afraid to do it, so I won't. I'm gonna come and do a couple little leafy things here. I know they're not lined up with it, but it's okay. It looks like, you know, kind of fun. Ugh, I don't know. <laughs> I have to look something up on that. I just can't figure it out. Do you know, does anybody know? Oh, I know, I love the blues too, Maria. Oh, so nice. Oh, if anybody's here new for the first time, sorry, I'm <laughs> I'm not the expert I thought I was because I need help. I need help. I don't know. And now I look like I need some little, you know what? Where's that little tiny flower? Let me get it. Where's that balmy blue? I got to cover up a little bit here. I've got floating stems and they need a flower. We'll put some, we'll bring some other little flowers in. There we go. Now, now they're attached to something a little bit. I don't know. You know, it's so weird. Maybe you just stamp those and then put the little ones on. I don't, I don't know. Somebody find the answer for me. I'll have to go on YouTube. Find somebody who knows. Maybe Stampin' Up! has a video. Stampin' Up! does do videos and feature some of their sweets and things. Oh, the other thing, you guys. Um... The annual catalog, one of the things that Stampin' Up! does is they actually produce a recipes PDF. Now, it's very huge. So for every sample they have in the catalog, there is a recipe for it. And as a demonstrator, I can go in and I can download that recipe PDF. So that is something that I will do, and then I'll post it, a link for it or something. That way you can also get that recipe. So for every sample in the catalog, because you know, and we've all done that. We've all seen something we really like what they did and that we wanna copy it. We want to create it. Ooh, and what did they use here? And you're like looking at it and trying to see, oh, what did they use? I don't know, I don't know, you know? And so 
the recipe is really, really helpful. Sometimes you just don't quite know what color or what have you. So there we are, hoping for better days ahead. And my little thing here might have to go underneath. Wishing for better days ahead. I just love, 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 love. Now you could do some stamping around on the inside if you wanted to, but I don't think I would. Hello, Tina. It is just gorgeous. It's very pattern on pattern in texture. If you're kind of like a clean and simple, this one might be a little over the top for you, but that's okay. I love it. I love, love, love it. Okay, first one down. Let's talk about our second one. How about let's talk about that joining again, just in the month of June. I think the Countryside Inn Suite would be fantastic. If you have stamping products and you've got lots of different things and you don't need uh, machines or you don't need, you know, stamp pads and all of that, sweets are perfect because they've got a bundle, they've got a package of designer series paper and, for example, the embossing folder for this one. So that's a great way to start doing that idea for the $155. You know, if you already have lots of things. All right. Yes, you guys, I am. I'm bringing back the cheerful daisies. Yep. <laughs> Now, if you are in my make a card, send a card groups, I'm sorry, I'm spoiling your card right now. But I also have to tell you something else. You guys, you know how you're gonna ship your cards and if they have a little embellishment, you just put a something a little hard like cardstock piece over it. Well, what happens when you do something that's like a fancy fold card? It gets some thickness in it. And then you put an embellishment on it it gets really thick. And then you take it to the post office with your postage, with your addresses on it, and they do their little test to go through the thing that can only be so thick, and it doesn't quite fit through. And so they say, oh, this is have to go as a package, and it's gonna be over, it's gonna be at least $5 for each one. And I'm like, what? What about when they could do the, oh, don't like hand meter it, don't put it through a machine. She didn't offer that, so I think they've maybe put a kibosh on that. I don't know, but you know what I have to do? I have to open up all my envelopes and I have to, I think, take off the little gem and um, then see if it's thin enough to go through. I need to make myself one of those card slots so I can make sure. So I, I apologize, I really love all of you in my card making groups, you know, and I'm in two groups, um, but uh, I don't love you that much. $5 a card, <laughs> it's just not gonna happen, you guys, I'm sorry. Okay, so on this one, I am using Bubble Bath, so exciting. Um, I did that, oh my gosh, you guys, I usually start with sharing cards, and I didn't. We'll do it after this card, okay? So I did on the Fancy Fold Friday, had done a card that has the belly band. And then you open, you are the sunshine that brightens so many days. And I was using the inked botanicals designer series paper. My sister-in-law said, hey, shouldn't the card open this way? Well, I'm left-handed, what can I say? No, <laughs> I just kind of like the way the, the lines were over here, so that's just the way my card went. But anyhow, um, I decided I, I really just loved this fancy fold, so I wanted to do that with this as well. And so what I did is I took a piece of the, give me a second here, you guys, I wanna make sure I have everything. So I took a piece of the bubble bath, and if you don't have bubble bath, you are gonna love it. This is five and a half by 11. So let me tell you something about fancy fold cards. They use a lot of paper. So this is five and a half by 11, which means I cannot get two card bases from one card stock piece. I end up with a piece left over like this. So this is a full sheet of cardstock. And we usually would cut four and a quarter by 11 and get two card bases, or we would cut at five and a half and get two card bases. Not with fancy fold cards. Most of them will use lots of cardstock. So just know that if you're going to be doing a fancy fold for something, just know you're going to need more um, cardstock than you think because 
one piece of cardstock only makes one base. So this is five and a half by 11, and then I scored it at one and three quarters, my one and three quarters, my five and a half, and then nine and three quarters, okay? And I'll, I, um, I'll link my uh, measurements down there. I also had that for Saturday stamping. I did that one and have that. This time I'm gonna have my things go the right way. <laughs> So from that then, I have some of the beautiful Daisies designer series paper. Look at this piece, you guys. Look how gorgeous this is. Oh, I love it. So this one is five and a quarter by three and a half, and that's gonna go right here. So let's just glue that down. Decide which way looks good to you. I think they look good this way. So that's going to go in there right like that. And then I have the same piece, but I'm going to flip it over and use this side that has the beautiful wild wheat color. And that one is five and a quarter by a half. And that's going to go right here. That's going to break up because when I bring this back in, I have this one, which is five and a quarter by one and an eighth. That's going to, and so I need something to break it up. So I just turned it over to use the back side, just like in the fancy fold card class. This bubble bath color, you guys, is so good. So I want to make sure my top and bottom is lined up on this. Oh my goodness, yes, Veronica, for wallpaper. Yeah, there are so many beautiful designs in this one. And that's perfect just as it is. What you want to do with these is make sure you're getting that fold really creased well. Fancy fold cards tend to really pop. That's why you need a um, belly band for this card because you can see otherwise <laughs> as much as you do those edges it likes to pop up. So then what I have is I have a one inch by nine and a half for the belly band. You have to do nine and a half, otherwise it's it's too tight around because remember you think about this um, width of this card on the inside, it's a five and a half, five and a half by four and a quarter inside here. Um, and so four and a quarter twice is Nah, uh, eight and three quarters, but you still you still need it. Sorry, <laughs> my brain. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my bubble bath and I'm gonna decorate the belly band first. There's this nice little three flowers on here. And I'm just gonna go right down, not turning the stamp, just going right down the belly band piece. And then what I'm gonna do to fill it in even more, I'm gonna come along and now turn, I've got these little divots here that are missing flowers. I'm just gonna come in and go in where I have those little divots of non-stamped things. Oh, we've got one more here. One more right here. And there we go, we've got a great decorative belly band. Now there's something about this Cheerful Daisies I've got to let you guys know. They created this two-step stamping, could not be any easier. And it couldn't be any easier when you die cut them out. It is so easy. Oh, that's great, Dee. Yeah, the bubble bath is so good. So let me grab my two little pieces here. I've got, this is going to be my, um, kind of my tag for the front of the card. And what's interesting about this is that it's very easy to use your leftover pieces of your bubble bath or whatever card stocks you're using um, for a fancy fold. So that's a nice piece about it. Okay, so I'm bringing in my Moody Mauve in color. We love our Moody Mauve. And I'm gonna stamp the outline three times just like so. That's it. That is all she wrote. <laughs>
Now I'm bringing it back in my bubble bath and I'm bringing the filler stamp. Remember this is a two-step stamping? Okay, now it is so easy to line up. There is this one skinny petal, one skinny little petal and it's right there. All you need to do is find that little skinny petal, stamp down. Perfect, you guys. It is incredible. It's like perfect. Find that little skinny petal, make sure your other ones are kind of lined up, and look at that. I, I cannot even tell you how easy this is to line up and stamp. I'm just flabbergasted at this one. Now this one is off, so I gotta just make sure, there we go. I mean, look at that, you guys. You would never know that I stamped those. Well, that one a little bit. But how cute are those? How cute. Okay. So super easy, right? I'm just crazy. Crazy, crazy how super easy that is. Now I'm going to bring in my little green leaf. And so I have Lemon Lime Twist, one of those great returning colors. Now it's interesting. So we have two. We've got the Parakeet Party, which is an in color, right? And then we have the returning lemon lime twist. Well, it's interesting because when I was doing this card, I was testing out, hmm, do I want to use lemon lime twist? Do I want to use parakeet party? Well, definitely two different greens. They're both bright, but they're definitely two different. Now this little leaf has a nice little pointy part. You just kind of put that right between the petals. Whoop. Photopolymer, good deal, perfect. You don't even notice. <laughs> That's what I love about photopolymer. And there, I've got some greenery. Pretty, huh? Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Now, there's one more thing. And do I not have that out? Did I put it back in here? Oh, I certainly did. I need my little center of the flowers so I'm going to go ahead and put my green leaf right there because I don't want to put it back in the case it needs to be washed put that on here now I'm going to get my wild wheat now wild wheat new ink pad really really dark you guys there it is it's like so super dark so I just stamped off stamped right in the middle very cute stamp off stamp in the middle Stamp off, stamp in the middle. That's off a little bit, so let me just go back in there and go a little more. Right there too. There. Look how stinking cute that is. I love it. <laughs> I just love it. Oh, yeah, you love your Stamparatus for that, B. Oh. I'm telling you, you do not need a Stamparatus for this one. It is so lined up perfect. It's just so easy. I can't believe how easy it is. Okay. So now the next thing that's important is I have this and then I have, what else do I have? Oh, I've got my, for the inside. And I need a scrap white to do my sentiment. Hmm. Or do I want to use, do what do I, no, I don't. I'm going to use white. Okay. No, I don't. I want to use the pink. Okay. I'm just talking to myself, you guys. I'm thinking of my label. I decided that I want to do the pink, the bubble bath for my label. For the, for the, um, there we go. Now, I have a couple of the flowers stamped, you guys, and I just want to show you how easy it is to line it up and die cut it out, okay? You know, there are some things that sometimes we struggle with a lot on trying to line it up. This one, I'm just so amazed at how easy come here, it is to line it up. Now I brought this out too because I'll need to die cut out for my, my um, sentiment. So I'll bring my little mini back up here. Oh, maybe you want to get the mini machine when you join. Maybe you have the big one and now that you've seen me do this over and over again and how to do it, maybe you want that mini. Okay, check out this die. See all these tiny little ones right here? These tiny little ones. Now there's little ones, but they're bigger. These are the tiny little ones. They line up right at the bottom. 
come on there you right at the bottom right there just like that and that's it done want to put a little washi tape there nah I don't those little little ones go right at the bottom the short part of the flower and look at how great that is isn't it pretty it is so awesome I'm gonna do the other one just because I can and it's fun okay put that in here's where I'm talking about the short part of the flower here's all the tiny little ones and here's that little one that's kind of kicking out so that's gonna go just right down like that just like that put it down what I like about the mini also you guys when you put your big plate down on your standard size machine it can really oh so cute this little flower so cute um, that little acrylic plate can move your dyed your images so quickly <laughs> like all of a sudden you're putting it down it's like oh no the die just slid on the little one here the plates are just so small you can get away with it it's really okay so there's that really cute flower I'm gonna set that aside now I have a little flower I already die cut out and I put the leaf with it I had die cut out a leaf but here's the little leaf right there you guys that you die cut out I stamped it and then I used the little die and cut them out so I have I have extra ones over there now that's so fun oh but I needed a piece of pink to run through for my label let's not get sidetracked okay label I know I say you stamp and then die cut today I'm not following my own advice today I am die cutting and then stamping you know you could why do I say you need to stamp first well you could stamp crooked but then when you die cut out it doesn't matter because you can turn the die so you know there are reasons why all right now that I've done that let me grab my birthday sentiment wishing you the brightest birthday and oop, not that color oh eh, wow that was tight I need the moody mauve yes 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 perfect perfect sentiment perfect size for that die that is so great all right we are ready so now I need dimensionals no we're gonna go ahead and get our cards going I don't have my inside so let's do our inside I'm just gonna glue this down And then my little flowers here, my little flowers three, I'm going to stamp. Whoa, do you see how I glued that down? Oh my gosh. Huff. Nope. It don't want to huff. All right, it's just going to be crooked. We'll just let that be crooked. Nobody will even notice. Right? Nobody notices our crookedness. <laughs> All right. So last week, some of you talked about your favorite in the catalog. There was some inked and tiled. I have to tell you, um, I pulled out the Hey Chuck stamp set. And just it just made me giggle so much. Not that that's going to be my favorite. All right. So now what I'm going to do, you guys, I am going to be very unmeasured um, on this. I'm going to lay the belly band down in the back. I'm going to bring my card and set it down. 
Then I'm going to fold up this side and just kind of press it down. I'm going to fold up this side and just kind of press it down. There it is. That's it. I'm going to put a little bit of tape. I'm just using my stamp and seal. Don't worry about it. I'll tell you why. It won't matter. So now you just want to make sure that can slide up and down. There we go. Now I'm going to put this down, but I'm going to use dimensionals to put this down. And I'm not going to put dimensionals on the label. I'm going to put dimensionals here. And I put one right on that edge right there. So I think I'm going to do four of them. Go ahead and peel that off. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this down right in the center. All right. Then my sentiment's going to go right here with some glue. Now you can't come over the edge here, so you want to make sure you're right at the edge. would be fine. going to do that just like so. And then my little flower is going to come right here, and it's going to be raised up with a dimensional. You're starting to see why this maybe isn't going to fit on a regular um, regular thing. And you know the reason why is because I went ahead after this, I think just this, it would make it through. But I had then, of course, had to pull this out. And we have to have some bling in the daisies, right? <laughs> you have to. So yeah, so that's my, yeah, that's my problem, you guys. My problem is that the post office doesn't want to mail my cards to my make and take groups, or make a card, send a card groups, because they don't fit through the little slot. So I'm thinking, well, Maybe if I just open up and take off the gems and do it that way, because I'm sorry, you guys. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to make a whole nother set of cards because I, I can't afford $5 per card per person. That's 12. I mean, 12 times five. Come on, you guys. That's $60. I can't do that. <laughs> I can't do that. All right. So we have our two cards we did today. Hoping for better days ahead. I'm so sorry you're going through this. That's going to be for my friend that I work with. And wishing you the brightest birthday. Oh, so fun. Um, I cannot give this to my daughter, Julianne, for her birthday in June because there's this thing about she doesn't, she, she just expects I'm going to give her a handmade card that I made. And so I never do. I always go get her some kind of fun special. Oh, I am, Lynn. <laughs> I am. Hand cancel stamps might get them through. Well, you know, and I'm going to go ask the post office if they will do the hand um, one, like non-metered one, if you can just do it by hand, not through process, through thing. I will ask them. She didn't offer it this time, and I've done it before, so I don't know. All right, so, okay, can I ask you guys, what do you think of this fancy fold one? You know, what do you think? It's not it's not a super hard one at all. It's part of my Fancy Fold 101 night that I had just this past Friday. I'm going to have a Fancy Fold 201 sometime this summer. Okay, I need to share cards, right? All right, so I have some more swap cards now. Oh, and you guys, I'm sorry, a shameless plug. I do have a um, specialty daisies, cheerful daisies class that is on July, I think it's the 23rd of July. I know it's, it's July, it's a little ways, but um, I want to get it going and prep because I am doing some traveling at the end of June and mid part of July. So I do have it advertised already. I'll do a blog and a video on my class, but this is one of the projects you'll be making at the Cheerful Daisy specialty class. Now, speaking of Cheerful Daisies, here's another one. This was by Heather Robinson. This is a pretty one, really showing that copper, right? Isn't that gorgeous? So here's a card by Heather again. Now, this one I'm going to take out. 
This is a zany zoo, and it's happy birthday to you, and this is one where this comes out. Does that open or anything? No. What would You know what would be really cute on this one, you guys? If you pulled it out and then opened it up. Oh, it does open up. <laughs> I thought it might. Um, it'd be fun to have a gift card right there. Wouldn't that be fun? So there's that one. This is one, another one by Heather Robinson, and this is one is using the timeless arrangements. It's the one that has all of those different floral dyes. And then there's a few of the labels too, and she's using the mauve in color and the in color um, designer series paper. This is one by Karen, and she's using the cute little um, cow and I forget it's in one of the little, it's uh, one of the little, um, oh, I don't know, for baby maybe. Here's one by Amber. She's using the one that has the bicycle and then I think it has, does it have a skateboard? Not sure, but she's using the Azure Afternoon. That's a nice blue, isn't it? So there we go. And then this one here is by Pam and she's using the Le Shops. And her card has a belly band. Oh my goodness. We have to open this up and see. Wait, how do you open up her envelope? Ah, she just has it on backwards. She has the belly band. So here's her Le Shop. She does a little window there, that's fun. And you open it up. Oh, and this opens this way. Let's get together. So her folds up and down. Now this particular fun fold you could do and get two pieces of paper, two card bases, because she just did four and a quarter by 11. She scored it this way for just a, a standard card. And then her belly band goes across there cute wishing you were here and she's using some of those little sequins very cute all right so there's the cards for today let me switch back over here you guys yeah you know what I am not um, there we are yes Lynn I am wearing a daisy top <laughs> isn't that funny oh yeah, I've got my, and I love my, it's such an orange. I love the orange and it's got the daisies. But anyway, so yeah, you guys, so check out, um, I'll have a blog and that blog will talk about the designer series paper sale. That's the month of June. It'll also talk about the joining special. Now people get concerned about joining and oh, what if, you know, I can't, um, I can't make purchases or this or that. It's okay. Um, there's no Stampin' Up! Police that come, but once you start getting, you get your 20% discount. Uh, you kind of can go from there and get even more than 25%. It's just totally up to you how you want to uh, pursue things. Uh, most people that are signed up under me are just hobbyists, and that's great. What else did I want to tell you guys? I appreciate you all for being here. Um, I, yeah, I coordinated and didn't realize it, Lynn. Exactly. Isn't that funny? So, well, I guess I am going to go have some pulled pork, and I'll let you know I'm probably going to switch and do Tuesday nights during the summer. Um because of my husband's bowling and like I said I don't want to you know impede on his time uh too with me so you know our husbands you know what we got to do what we got to do <laughs> well hey let me know what you guys would like to see next time in my live I always want some ideas of what what stamp sets what products what kind of techniques what would you like to see okay and so um just let me know and until next time happy stamping